We're here at the Bangkok Garden Restaurant to investigate a taste sensation with which we're all quite familiar. <laughs> That's so <lovely fun. coughs> That's exactly why we're here. We want to find out why chili peppers burn our mouths. Oh. Oh. This is boiling. I'm burning up. What do you think I should slow down with? Water? You think water will help? Okay. We'll find the best way to cool down, too. Well, it seems to me the best place to start is with a quick trip to the kitchen to see what's behind all this fire. This little devil is the culprit behind all that grief outside. It's the baby chili from Thailand. Okay, so what is it that makes chili peppers so hot? Well, it's all due to one single chemical compound found exclusively in peppers. It's called capsaicin. Remember that. Now, contrary to what you might think, most of the heat is not located here in the flesh or in the seeds, but rather right here in these veins called the placenta. So one way to actually reduce the bite of a pepper is to cut out its placenta. Sounds painful. The amount of capsaicin produced by each pepper determines how hot it will be. The more capsaicin, the hotter the pepper. And speaking of hot, this harmless looking vegetable is the hottest pepper in the world. It's called the habanero, or scotch bonnet, and it's grown in Central America. So how hot is hot? Well, strangely enough, there's an actual scale for measuring pepper heat. It's called the Scoville scale. To put things in perspective, on the Scoville scale, the mild green or bell pepper is zero Scoville units. The popular jalapeno pepper rates about 5,000 units, while the habanero scorches in at a sizzling 300,000 Scoville units. So what does happen when you eat hot pepper? Well, when you bite into a pepper, you release capsaicin. Capsaicin is a powerful irritant that attaches itself to the pain receptors inside your mouth. Once activated, these pain receptors send a message to your brain. Your body reacts by trying to get rid of this irritating chemical. So the flow of saliva in your mouth is increased, your nose starts to run, digestive juices are secreted into your stomach, your heart rate goes up, blood flow to your face is increased, and to cool off, you start to sweat. There's another common side effect from eating spicy food. It's called the double burn. You know, the food burns going in and it also burns going out. Well, capsaicin is responsible for that too. Your rectum has pain receptors similar to the ones in your mouth. Capsaicin can survive the journey through the digestive tract. As it passes through your rectum, it binds with the pain receptors and bids you a fiery goodbye. There's one other interesting phenomenon you might have noticed when eating hot peppers. It's often the first few bites that are the hottest, but as you keep eating, that burning sensation seems to gradually subside. Well, try your imagination. It does actually happen, and there's a good reason for it. In order for those pain signals to get from your mouth to your brain, the nerves in the spinal cord must release a chemical transmitter called substance P. Now initially, the presence of capsaicin triggers the nerves to release this chemical and your mouth starts to burn. But as you eat more peppers, the buildup of capsaicin interferes with the nerves' ability to replenish their supply of substance P. As a result, fewer pain signals are able to reach the brain, so you feel less burning in your mouth. Yeah, well, my pain signals are coming through loud and clear at the moment. That's all well and good, Chris, but... I still need to know how to cool down. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. But before I do, we now know that chili peppers are hot because they produce this chemical, capsaicin, that triggers the pain receptors in our mouth. But why are peppers hot in the first place? I mean, what's the purpose? Uh, can we roll the film, please? According to ethnobotanists, the purpose of the hot flavor is to make sure that the peppers aren't eaten by the wrong animal. Rabbits, for example, have a digestive system that destroys the pepper's seeds. But they don't eat the chilies because they don't like the hot taste. Birds, on the other hand, have a digestive system that leaves the seeds intact. And you guessed it, they don't seem to mind the heat. They eat the chili peppers and then disperse the seeds through their dropping. 
So the hot flavor is actually an evolutionary tool to help ensure the survival of the chili pepper species. I don't know about this pleasure part, but I can certainly vouch for the pain. I need to know how to stop this burning. No! <sighs> okay, okay, I guess you guys have suffered long enough. So what is the best way to cool down from the hot pepper syndrome? Well, it's definitely not water. Water only gives you a few seconds of temporary relief. It's kind of like trying to wash greasy dishes without using any detergent. The grease just doesn't come off. With hot peppers, what you need is something that will remove the capsaicin from the pain receptors in your mouth. The answer, bum ba da ba, milk. Milk and other dairy products like yogurt or ice cream all contain a protein called casein. Casein acts like a detergent and literally strips the capsaicin off the receptors. And as the capsaicin goes, so does the burning. So, good old milk. It's the best way to cool down from a spicy meal. And there's your answer. Happy? <laughs> <laughs>